All right, Canelo Alvarez and Daniel Jacobs. Okay, look, I made a video about it the other day, but I'm going to elaborate on it a little bit further. Also, I told you guys I'm going to start reading your comments in each and every video. We'll get to that in, in, maybe in the middle, in the end. I don't know. I'll throw it in there whenever I can. Okay, Daniel Jacobs, right, all over social media making comments like Gennady Golovkin won both fights against Canelo Alvarez, okay? I'm like, why is he talking about this? You know, he said he, he definitely won the first and the second fight should have been a split decision or a draw at worst. OK, and this is Daniel Jacobs. So, you know, talking about the Golovkin Canelo fight. I'm like, OK, OK. I'm like thinking where, you know, what's, what's he trying to do here? Like, what's your end game? What's your M.O.? What you getting at? I'm not really picking up what you're putting down. So anyway, also made a lot of noise about the second day IBF weigh in. But my question is this. OK. You know, why is he already making excuses for losing, right? Or is he just trying to put the spotlight on Golden Boy promotion by saying things like the judging is unfair, the judges will always favor Canelo, even Gennady Golovkin was robbed. You know, is he trying to use a big name to make a point? You know, uh, but to me, he's 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 looking like he's kind of weak minded, in my opinion. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out, you know, uh, are these the comments of uh, like a defeated mindset? You know, or is he trying to get ahead of the game? You know, like I said, is he trying to put the spotlight uh, on Golden Boy to force them to, to, to play fair? You know, so I don't know. But Jacob said, quote, OK, quote, Canelo giving me credit for beating uh, or Canelo is giving me credit for beating Golovkin. And Canelo is upset with me because I'm not giving him credit because he didn't beat Golovkin. So he goes on to say, you know, why is this even a thing? This is a sport of boxing, right? Why is this even a thing? Why are we even talking about this? If, if you win the fight, you should win the fight. But if you don't win decisively, you're not going to get the nod when you're up against Canelo. So, you know, so j just to add, and, and that's the end of the, the quote there, but just to add a little bit to the backstory uh, to, to Canelo, he was asked by a reporter, do you think the judges favor you when it comes to, to a decision, right? Canelo replies, uh, when you get to my level, you're going to get the benefit of the doubt when you get to my level. That's just how it is. The judges are going to favor you quote, end of quote. You're just going to get those advantages. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So Canelo is flat out admitting the judges are biased and the judges are going to favor him. You know, he didn't mince words. He straight up said, yes, if it's a close round, I'm going to get the nod. I mean, look, I give him a ton of respect for being honest, right? You got you to give the dude credit for that, right? He's being honest. But, uh, you know, I would like to hear what the Canelo fans have to say about this. And I know you're out there. I know you guys are like closet fans. You love my channel. You know, you secretly watch. So I would like to know. He's admitting when I lose, I still win. OK, I mean, this is Canelo, you know, and I hear all these boxing fans like telling me, oh, there's no such thing. You know, if you win, you win, you lose, you lose. It's fair, blah, blah, blah. OK, well, well, he, he just flat out said, no, 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 that's not how it is. So I would really like to hear what you have to say about that. And remember, 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 Canelo was the challenger, not the champion in both fights. OK, Golovkin had the belts in both fights. Canelo even said, if you want to be the champion, you must decisively beat the champion. But in, but in the same breath, but in the same breath, Canelo also said, but I'm going to get special treatment. OK, so, I mean, it, it's great. Like I, like I said, I, I mean, I give him a ton of respect for admitting it, but damn, but damn. All right. Now, and, and I'm sorry, but if I heard Gennady Golovkin say, you know, something in anything like that, I would immediately lose respect for him because he's basically telling me, you know, if I don't win, they're going to say that I won anyway. You know, even even if I'm not good enough, it's going to be good enough. Right. And I'm going to get every advantage a boxer can get when it comes to judges, contracts, stipulations, hotel accommodations, special treatment, controlling the, the, the narrative, the media, the narrative. Just I'm getting every benefit under the sun when it comes to, 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 to the fight. So, I mean, the dude is flat out admitting it. Right. And I hate the fact, you know, that I hate the fact that we have that we keep having to talk about judges right i mean it, 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 things should be fair across the board and it's really killing boxing it is so you know uh and, and i don't care if it even if it look if it favored gennady golovkin i would tell you the same thing i would say you know i don't think he won the fight and i think you know the judges are corrupt i, I mean i would tell you the exact same thing you know, it doesn't matter what side of the, of the decision that my favorite fighter may fall on or may not fall on. I'm going to be fair. So 
So look, I understand what Jacobs is trying to do. I understand what he's trying to say, but he needs to follow up these complaints with confidence, right? He needs to follow up the complaining with confidence. He needs to say, look, you know, yes, the judges are going to favor him, but, you know, it doesn't matter because I'm better than him. I'm better than uh, Triple G, and I'm going to convince the judges that I am the better man on fight night. Or or he needs to just say something like, uh, you know, we're not going to need any judges because I'm going to knock them out. Like, you know, throw some shit like that out there. You know, I want to see some confidence in Jacobs. I mean, where is it at? Even his trainer is making excuses and whining. 90% of the, interview, of the interviews, it's like, you know, they've got their tail between their legs and it's almost coming across as like bad sportsmanship or something i mean it's just i just want to see a little bit more confidence out of him. i really do you know it's almost like like killing the excitement for the fight because i feel like you know he, he he's like talking as he he's defeated already you know you know and look i want to clear something up okay both guys are being tested through vada okay now although i think it is highly suspect canelo pops dirty twice okay and then looks better than he ever has in the in, in the fight immediately after he gets all, off the peds i mean you know rumor has it canelo was cycling off in mexico before the rematch but i'm just going to throw it out there you know we're going to leave it at that uh <laughs> you know uh, i i think it's really weird the whole mexico thing but whatever uh, you know i'm not going to talk about it much more but look the way I see it, Jacobs has a chance at beating Canelo. He's simply, you know, fundamentals, work behind the jab, control the range, you know, watch out for that left hook, watch out for the body work, among many other things, but too many to mention right now. But but most importantly, he needs to get his head right. He needs to get, a, he, he needs to get his damn head on his shoulders. He needs to get his head right. So, um... You know, and just come in with a smart plan, you know, and I think he'll need to make adjustments throughout the fight, you know, so, uh, and, and here's the thing, can Jacobs hurt Canelo? Yes, he can, you know, and I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of you guys talk about, you know, there's, there's the, you know, Canelo's unbeatable and there's no way that, uh, you know, Jacobs can hurt him and, you know, Canelo will never lose. Well, this is boxing. He's going to lose eventually. In fact, I think he's going to lose in the next probably two, three, four fights. I would say no more than four you know, because it, it happens, you know, you're going to get that fight where he, you know, he, all of a sudden, you know, he doesn't look indestructible. He doesn't look like he has like this iron chin or whatever, you know, all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, like that guy's really winning around. Like it's going to happen. It has, this is boxing. Like you can give me any great of any time, even Mayweather who's undefeated. And, and I can tell you when they, when they started to decline and, and almost predict when they're going to lose. And I did almost uh, pretty much, I mean, like I said, pick a fighter and I've always predicted when they're going to lose. And I really feel like Canelo's going to lose in his next handful of fights. I mean, I don't know, maybe three or four, you know, it's possibly against the, the, the Golovin uh, uh, Canelo trilogy. You know, I don't know. Although right now I favor Canelo in that fight, but, uh, you know, we'll see, but we will see, we will see. Now, as far as, uh, Gennady Golovkin goes, let me, let me finish up w w with uh, a quick thought. Okay. Whoever he fights next. And we, you know, I put out a video talking about his list of possible upcoming opponents, whoever it is, he needs to look good. In fact, he needs like a spectacular knockout, you know, to kind of just regain that respect in, in, in the boxing world, in the middleweight division, you know, with, he just needs to look good against a good opponent. It. Okay, now we don't want to see him look good against you know a B level fighter, a C level fighter, you know. So I, I really hope that that. But they, look, they're in a they're in a really really tricky situation here. They're they're in a tough spot because they're they're counting on the Canelo trilogy, right? And I'm so tired of it. It's like these guys have been chasing Canelo like a lost puppy, and I'm I'm really getting. I mean, I'm sure you guys are too. I'm getting burnt out on the whole thing, but. Whatever they do, he needs to look good in his next fight, you know. So, uh, you know, and like I, I feel like even in the trilogy right now, I've got Canelo winning. You know, I think the only chance that he has is to is to probably knock Canelo out. You know, I think he needs to go for the knockout, you know, in the first half of the fight, basically throw it all out there, you know, without thinking about a 12 round fight, you know. Uh, so yes, Gennady Golovkin, a very underrated boxer, but ultimately his power is his, strong, his strongest attribute. So, you know, look, if I'm training Gennady Golovkin, I would tell him, you know, go head hunting, go over the knockout. Don't think about a 12, 12 round fight. You've already had 24 rounds. Okay. Now we're approaching what, uh, 30, 36 or whatever they'll go for the knockout. 
lockout if I'm Abel Sanchez. And do I think that he needs a new coach? Yes, I do. I think Abel Sanchez has taught him everything he can possibly teach him. So anyway, enough of all that. Let me get to this real quick. First of all, shout out to Southside. Dude is always up in the comment section, always first, always contributing, always there. So thank you, sir, very much. Aztec82, shout out. Uh, now, this guy here, <laughs> uh, Nopel? Is it Nopel? Nopel? He said, I had some uh, Im impeccable? impeccable comments, but no reply. I did a, a, a video talking about, you know, highlighting comments, and apparently he has some in there, and I'm, I missed them, so shout out to you, my friend. Okay, right here, uh, Jose Antonio Delgado. Gennady Golovkin definitely won the first fight. Uh, the second one should have been a draw. Yes, sir, we do agree. Super no close. Uh, counter, counter punch. Okay, everything you said here was spot on. His cardio might improve. Uh, if he gets off that damn mountain, talking about Big Bear, and join us mortals at sea level while or when training. And I think he says he, he I think, um, I don't have it here, but I think he talks about, you know, going on to uh, knock out Canelo. So, yes, you're absolutely right. You know, uh, I do think he needs to get off the mountain, get out of Big Bear. I think he needs to get away from Abel Sanchez. It's my opinion, you know. This is how I feel. Um, you know, because, uh, you know, I just, I look, I'm not going to talk about the body work because I put out a video saying that, you know, in that particular fight, it wasn't there, but I would like to see him go for the body in the upcoming rematch, at least try. Okay. And if he can't get in there, if he can't get in there, I'm not trying to contradict everything I'm saying, but if, if he can't get in there, make the adjustment, go for the knockout. That's what I want to see Golovkin on a knockout mission, you know, and, uh, that's what I want to see, you know, and I want to see a new coach that can bring new things out of Golovkin, you know, he's already got the boxing, everything is there, they just need a different plan, you know, so it's very predictable what Golovkin is going to do, he's going to come forward, work behind the jab, and, you know, and that's, I mean, you, you know, it's like you already know what he's going to do, so I think a different coach could bring something different out of him, so anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that, what do you think, leave your comment below.